Next up, we have Jeff from Insuritas, which is a company focused on outsource uh, insurance for financial institutions. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Jeff Chesky, the founder and CEO of Insuritas. I'm delighted to be here today. I'm also proud to announce that our company was just earlier this week uh, recognized as one of the top 100 insuretech firms in the globe. We operate at the intersection of insuretech and fintech. Uh, pretty complicated place, but fraught with enormous opportunity. From a business standpoint, we're simply trying to reimagine and re-engineer the way consumers shop and buy auto insurance, home insurance, business insurance. The only financial product, all of you in the room, in fact, 240 million Americans have to buy from somebody every year. The market's gotten very, very disintermediated and conflated over the last few years. The independent agency system in the United States has collapsed. Carriers manufacturing insurance product have been left with going direct. Geico now pays about $1,027 for every policy they acquire simply by spending $1.4 billion reminding each of us eight times a day in case we forgot that insurance is for sale through them. So what we've done is we've reimagined insurance by actually disassembling the traditional agent model and reassembling a digital virtual agency platform inside financial institutions in the United States. Our clients today bank over 11 million retail households, nearly 5% of the 240 million households in the U.S. that buy insurance year in, year out. The challenge with distributing insurance is that carriers are underwriting claims risk in the same way that bankers underwrite repayment risk. They need non-public information, so our model uses API and data integration tools and techniques, builds bridging technology between the secure enterprises of banks and credit unions to simply take the non-public information that customers have resident in the bank, present it to insurance carriers, deliver free, no obligation insurance quotes to customers without the traditional interview that's uh, traditionally expected with a customer that's trying to shop and buy and compare insurance. Oddly enough, we've got some uh, unique, I guess, framework for comparison, comparing or thinking about how we do business. Uh, we're an insurance distributor with no insurance, just like Airbnb has no properties, Uber has no cars. All we do is we connect the 240 million Americans that need product with over 160 insurance carriers that manufacture that product. And it's our enterprise ecosystem that's the only one of its kind operating in the United States that's worked. The power of the model is in bringing together two verticals that are both regulated extraordinarily uh, with compliance, security, and uh, data migration, data control. What we know is on the carrier side, the insurance carriers are desperate for new distribution models. So for the first time, at no cost, we can present their product and their appetites for risks uh, over to the bank side, where the 240 million Americans are banking. And on the banking side, insurance distribution is a powerful product innovation for them. They desperately need fee income to offset compressed interest margins. They like the fact that insurance revenues are extremely attractive. They keep paying in perpetuity and it's recurring. When you do the cohort analysis, the average duration of our policies with our clients is over six years where fee income is paying month in and year out, allowing the banks to generate this new relationship with their customers. We don't put any agents anywhere inside the bank. We don't train the bankers to spell insurance, never mind get licensed to operate insurance. We're simply leveraging the data, the engagement, and the activity using data science algorithms and machine learning to make sure that when a customer applies for a car loan, they get insurance quotes. They borrow money for a home, they get home insurance quotes. We see from the bank's tracking algorithms that their policies are renewing for their auto and home in four months. We're talking to them three months out, letting them know that the bank stands ready to help them with their insurance. From a business standpoint, we've been at this a couple of years. All of the engineering has gone into stitching together the complexity of moving non-public information between banks and insurance carriers without the traditional opt-in requirements of a consumer. So this happens seamlessly. The customer isn't asked permission. They're simply provided this free, no obligation service. The carrier gets to display their products under a trusted brand, the bank or the credit union, that the customer is very comfortable with. Our growth rates have been fairly attractive. As you can see above, our compound annual growth rates are tracking north of 30%. We're at an inflection point today where we now have over 150 financial institutions from banks that you recognize, like Comerica one of the 25 largest banks in the U.S., banking 11 million households and over 1.6 million small businesses. The marketplace for you that are investors is being very curious about the recurring revenue that's unique to property and casualty insurance. 
This is a company that went public this spring. They do what we do. They're about 18 months ahead of us, but they don't have our tech or our addressable market acquisition model. You can see they came out at an enterprise value of about 10 times revenue, and they were trading, I believe, today at about 28 to 29 times 2019 forward projected revenues. An astounding story, but it's just simply about the opportunity and the trajectory that comes from moving a business that reimagines a $1.3 trillion market. We're currently raising $10 million in Series B capital. Some of the members of our bankers team, Bank Street Partners, are here in the crowd. One of them's on a forum later today. We'll take the money in a single check, or we'll take a lead private equity firm, and we'll round out the raise with strategics. And uh, we'd be delighted to talk to you in the days ahead if you're curious about uh, taking a ride on a company that's got a business model such as this. Thanks for your time.